For over a year, bodies of nine young people, including an 11-year-old schoolboy, have been awaiting burial in Shrachanpur town of Manipur. The dead, who were residents of the town, allegedly fell to police bullets during a violent protest on August 31st last year. The protest erupted after the news about the passage of three bills at the State Assembly earlier in the day reached the district headquarters, home to a number of tribes. The Protection of Manipur People's Bill 2015 Manipur Land Revenue and Land Reform 7th Amendment Bill, Manipur Shops and Establishment 2nd Amendment Bill are considered anti-tribal by people living in the six hill districts of the northeastern state. They allege that it is a veiled attempt by the state government to take control of their land, otherwise managed by the autonomous district councils and Hill Areas Committee set up under the Article 371C of the Constitution. The protesters are led by the Joint Action Committee formed to spearhead the agitation in Chirachanpur a few days after the deaths. JC has refused to bury them till their demands are met by the government. Initially, the demand was for the withdrawal of the three bills. In June this year, the President rejected the People's Bill and sent the other two for further examination. Yet, the agitation has not died down. Instead, new demands have sprung up. Protesters are now demanding a separate administration and also bringing the Hill Districts under the sixth schedule of the Constitution. Government <laughs> Kalaitang ong su di manipul kumpi ng su di he eloma ma po na luwa mo tuwa hanga i patawa om tiya nga tayo hiya hina ko siksedul ka nga matengu katate uvoy law ding siksedul ang pekle tu uvoy pa ding kalayda yung ang kaisak le sol kalin india president in kalayda yung ang kaisak in siksedul ang pekle katate uvoy ding ang pekle yale uvoy law ding Kalaitang tu ule, emeleten kami amia sa ting ong zuak, kalaitang ong zuak kay ti ang anak sa luaw. Kalaitang ong kanga amateng ong siksedul kanga amateng ong vuelaw din. This past August 31st, marking one year of the protest, the JSC organized an event at the Churachanpur College grounds to observe Tribal Unity Day. Hundreds of tribals took part in it. However, an important tribe, the Kukis residing in the town, were missing from it. When the, the tribal movement started, all tribal groups uh, participated wholeheartedly and we have been uh, showing to the world that all the tribals of Manipur are uh, standing together and in unity. And as time passes, uh, some of our tribal brothers who uh, are tired of uh, uh, taking up this movement uh, are not really, though 
mentally they have supported the movement physically some of the tribal groups are not with us however we cover uh, for them also the movement covers for every each and every tribal people though uh, some people might not be a part of this movement now uh, we do not bother about that we welcome them we will always welcome them whenever they come and we are always fighting for them also they are every tribal is included in this movement from the beginning till today we stand on within the perimeter of bills three bills and now the another bill is come we don't go beyond that when we ask the state government call back the bill <coughs> place in your table let all the stakeholders discuss together it is for the welfare of the state still we stand on that that uh, you have stated that this time Kuki in P was not no longer involved in the uh, present movement yes that's correct because on this process separate administration issue come up six year old demand has come up we said that's different thing we will not mix up on we will not mix up anything who can be rather want to mix up issue of the bills three bill or another new bill we are still fighting because nine dead body because of three bill no, mm. no other issue it was their their life was closed because of only three bills on the issue of three bills so we still stand on that still fighting for that many in Shurachanpur say the demand for a separate administration is gaining ground in the hill areas because of years of exploitation faced by hill people at the hands of the majority community the Maytays. some also feel the center should speed up the ongoing dialogue process with yet another stakeholder in these areas the underground groups the solution as i see is uh, there is a long uh, standing unrest among the people uh, to address the aspirations of the people we need a separate administration from the government uh, that will uh, that may be realized by speeding up a uh, dialogue with uh, uh, the using groups like uh, UPF and KNO operating in this area. Recently, the state government brought yet another anti-migrant bill, Manipur Local People's Protection Bill 2016. The spontaneous reaction of the tribal people against the passing of these three anti-tribal bills is a culmination of decades of neglect and discrimination meted out to the tribal people by the majority Manipur government. Like in the field of education and jobs and reservations, we have been discriminated. And then in terms of development, uh, there is no development and infrastructural development is totally nil in the hill areas of Manipur. All Central Agriculture University, NIT, MIT, and then the Regional Institute of Medical Science, Jawaharlal Nehru Institute of Medical Science, all uh, central uh, government institutions, uh, including University of Manipur, is all situated situated in the valley areas and the uh, hill areas is neglected. So there was a spontaneous reaction, and this build, another build may come up. So. Uh, everybody, every tribal thinks that this is not the first bill nor the last bill. Many bills will come into being and uh, the tribal people will uh, at the last uh, will be losing their lands and their identity and their rights. Everything will be lost. So all the tribal peoples believes that uh, this is the time to have a permanent solution. So we uh, as spearheading the uh, movement where shouting for a separate administration 
the central government should uh, separate the administration from the ambit of the Manipur state government. This will only be the uh, most viable solution available as of now. Mete leaders refute the allegation of discrimination. In the four valley districts of Thaubal, Imphal East, Imphal West and Bishnupur, there has been a simultaneous agitation demanding in a line permit, which also claimed the life of a schoolboy in an alleged police firing in Imphal. At the root of the ILP agitation also lie the fear of losing land. Maite leaders feel both the hill and valley people should come together to fight this fight against what they call outsiders. Why is our brother and sisters from the hills felt that there is a racial or ethnic or majority dominance over them? I think it is uh, totally baseless to blame the majority community, the Maites, because since 1972 we are always in the receiving end even today even our people are beaten up killed somewhere in the hill regions we have done nothing we have even uh, not voice our, our 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 voice against them the hill areas from the very beginning have been left to themselves to decide their future course every all wrong development every aspect of their life has been led to themselves no one was uh, allowed to interfere into the affairs. Now the surprising thing is, above that, there is also another tribal development department. Okay, under this, all the national schemes are channelized through this department for the hill regions. Now, even, even the government has no power to bypass the local body of the hill areas for every, any, every minor thing which they want to do. So. Considering the facts and, you, and in the backlight of, of all these legislations, all the happenings for the last so many years, still continuing to uh, go on for a propaganda that the majority are uh, ex exerting their ethnic dominance over the hill regions is totally invalid and is incorrect in totality. Because if you look into this uh, what is happening in terms of the legislation, laws, the traditional practice, even now. So I think they have to restore, retrospect by to, uh, to themselves because most of the uh, developmental works and overall, overall uh, develop, uh, aspect of uh, happening in the hill regions are done by the elected leaders, both at the local level and at the assembly level. Mm -hmm. So I think their leaders are also responsible for what is uh, uh, what kind of uh, feeling of neglect which the, generally the people ill people are feeling right now the Meite leaders feel there is space for adjusting the bills as per the liking of the hill people there must be a pass from manipur government and the live together peacefully and also with the indigenous people of manipur the, you know uh, uh, Manipuri is uh, a little number in the world and uh, we have to protect our indigenous people. In my period we have uh, already went uh, the whole hill areas uh, leaders to talk with them what is the, uh, uh, your opinion. Uh, if you do not want in these uh, three bills you can point you can point like the government said in the newspaper, in the internet. We also told them, if you want to point out what is the wrong in that tree bill, please point out and uh, we will discuss. But they never come and they never uh, point out. They can, they never uh, point out. They cannot point out. So. I think this is not good for hill areas and the belly are both hill areas and the belly areas. We are all Manipuris. We must have the strength to unite together what is wrong and what is right. We must think together. This is our point. Indigenous people, to save indigenous people is also for their good because tribal areas are already protected by the constitution, constitutional law, and uh, 
the belly area is not protected but we have to protect ourselves our people our land so i want um, not uh, too good to object the three bills to oppose three bills is not good for both hill area and the belly area this is it will be uh, better be united together and uh, fight what is the wrong and what is the right to the Indian woman as well as to the Manipur government. This is my point. Some in the valley feel the changing demands of the protesters in the hill areas is due to some outside forces. I think it is right time now that the, the government, all the stakeholders should come forward together and end this kind, uh, uh, kind of uh, anti uh, Manipuri propaganda being floated by some of the uh, students uh, through some, uh, I don't know, some uh, remote control from outside state. I am not revealing what is, uh, who is act who are actually controlling them, but it seems that the political shift, if you look into the shifting of the agenda of the uh, ongoing agitation, by the JC Churachanpu has proven that they are now under the control of some superior powers outside of Manipur. The state is facing assembly elections early next year. Some leaders blame the impending polls as the cause behind the present division among the tribes. Since we are living in a democratic country, we are bound to face elections which keep coming and going. So I think that election may affect the immunity to some extent. There may be some divisions and separations during election. But I think that will be just temporary. But I hope after the election is gone, the real unity will be restored. And at the same time, we don't feel that Article 371C is not strong enough to protect us. So we need constitutional protection so that these sort of problems like the bills which is coming up may not come up anymore. Since women in both the hill and valley areas play an important role in their societies, some women leaders appeal to the state's mothers to help maintain peace. Regarding the three bills in Manipur, uh, it looks like uh, that, that peace has been disturbed for the last more than one year. But today, uh, I would like to appeal to the uh, women of Manipur, irrespective of caste creed, that we have to uh, bring back peace. The role to be played by uh, women of Manipur is a very great, and we should not uh, forget that our role is very big. So we should not remain silent. We should see that uh, peace is a very much the need of the hour. I appeal to the people of Manipur that uh, uh, we should maintain our collective peace and we have to try our level base and let's live together.